Virginia Gym. This is a beautiful community. It is a great and community. And I know everyone loves to live in La Jolla, but right. why this area in particular? Well, a lot of buyers would choose West Muirlands because of its proximity to Muirlands Middle School and then La Jolla High School, which is right down the street. Wow. And then you can walk to the famous Win and Sea Beach, oh, which yeah. is awesome. So you have a spectacular home, right? That we're gonna... <laughs> it's a great home that you're gonna see. You always find these just magnificent places to build on. It's not easy. <laughs> no. We look at a lot of them to find one. Right? Yeah. This was an amazing purchase uh, in what I believe is one of the best locations in La Jolla. And we've been working on this for 15 months wow. to get to this point. It's been an incredible process, great journey, right. and it's an amazing gem. I'm sure it's gonna live up to it. Come check it out. Tony, I want you to meet Dan. Hi, nice good to see morning. you. Good morning. What's happening? Good morning, buddy? Jim. Yeah, good to see you again. Hey, it's a little uh, busy in here. Why yeah. don't we go outside, okay? Yeah, Let's absolutely. Go. So, Tani, uh, Dan is the head of acquisitions, and Dan and I have been working together for probably about six years. Wow. Six years now. Yeah. And so we work hand in hand every single day. We have multiple conversations every day, emails, texts of how best to purchase properties here along the coast. Now it's second nature. So how did you guys come about this place? So Jim lives around here, and we do a lot of projects here, too. And uh, this was an open house. It was a for sale by owner. Jim was walking by, and he came in. He realized this house needed a lot of work. Uh, and it could be a good fit for us. So he talked to the sellers and uh, we strategize on how, you know, besides price, what kind of terms can we include to really make it stand out to the seller and help That's them right. out as well. Absolutely. Because there's more to purchasing than just the price. Yes. And so each purchase has its own individual challenges. In this case, Dan, we offered them a lot besides money. Yeah, so this one, they had uh, years of stuff in this house and uh, they knew it was gonna be a lot to move. Mm -hmm. And so wow. one of them was ill. One was ill, and so they wanted a, a fast close, but they wanted time. So we closed with them in the house, and then we gave them two months to actually move after we purchased the house. Wow. And they stayed for free. We helped them actually physically move, and the stuff that they didn't want, they just left, and we inherited. And Including a it. car. Yes, right? we got a, they we had, got a Rolls Royce in this one. They, they, they had a, an the old Rolls, Rolls, Rolls in the front <laughs> under a car cover, and we ended up purchasing that too. Or the owner of CT Homes, JD Asian. Bought that out. Let's right give there. JD some right? props. On there we go. So I mean, it looks like you you see the opportunity. You're definitely a man of opportunity, but you're also giving the owners an opportunity mm -hmm. as well and working out what's best for them. Yep, you have to. I mean, they had been in this house for 26 years, wow. and you know, for a lot of people that haven't moved in 30 years, mm -hmm. moving is a very big experience. So we do play into that, and we want to always take care of the sellers. Yes. And for you guys, it's not just a matter of finding a home, building a home. There's a lot that goes into the acquisition. So go into a little bit of that. That's right. Um, so the way we look at it is what, what could the house be worth? What's the value add? What's the potential here? So for this one, uh, it, it was an older house built in the 50s, I believe. Yep, late 50s. And they did addition on top of addition. And the layout was really awkward and it was a little bizarre. And so we knew for this neighborhood, we have big houses, a lot of uh, view properties. And so we knew that this would be a good opportunity to do a complete redo, new layout, capture the view, um, go into uh, you know knowing the market as well. So when we Absolutely. look at this property and we see what can we have, we got to see what are the comps in this in this area. Also knowing the market, who's our buyer, what do they want, what are their demands, what kind of finishes do we need need in the house, and then we put that all together, and then that formulates our offer. And then that's how we, it's, we It start. sounds simple, but I mean, that takes hours <laughs> yeah. and hours and hours of reviewing all the sales around the neighborhood, driving them, calling the agents, asking how long did it take to sell, what were the challenges, should you have a pool, do we not have a pool? There's so much that goes into it in a very, very short period of time because you're trying to make something happen quickly. Yes, I mean, Jim doesn't bring just anybody onto the team, right? So I'm sure you're fabulous with this team. I'm very lucky. Many very years lucky to together, with right? Yeah, so yeah. thank you for showing us a little bit of the yeah, house, but uh, you mentioned the view, so I gotta see it. You gotta go check it out. <laughs> thanks, Dan. Jim, you aren't kidding. 
this view is spectacular. I know, it's incredible. I mean, you can see all the way up to Dana Point. You can see La Jolla Country Club, Golf Course, oh, yes. all of Mount Soledad, and all the beautiful states around us. All right, 360 degree views. Yeah, it's awesome. Not bad. It's great. You know what's really rare about this property? It's the only permitted two-story home on the view side of this street. Wow. The previous owners had got it permitted back in 2000. So we worked with Tim Golba, our architect that yeah. you met, and uh, with his vision and design, he created something really special. But we still kept in mind of not blocking any views of any of the neighbors. It's amazing. Yeah, it was an incredible design between Tim and also JD at CT Homes. Right? Yeah. Like I said, nothing with you guys is by accident. It's yeah. so well thought out of. And so this, how's the, the floor plan for up here? Oh, it's great. We've got a bedroom in the back, and then we've got this gigantic master bedroom, and obviously this is all the master deck. This is for the master. This is for the master, right? if you can believe that. <laughs> this is like the king suite. This is yeah, amazing. Yeah, I mean, look, you can see everything, and in about six months, we're going to have the power lines down, too, so it's really going to be a, a premier special property. So for a buyer that wants to be in the West Merlands, close to the middle school and the high school and the village and the beach, and have the probably the best view around, this is the house. I can say the best view. But there's even better. It gets better. Yeah. No. Let me take you up to the rooftop deck right. and show you up there. You gotta come Let's check it out. Let's do this. Wow. Yeah. All right, Jim, I give it to you. This, yep. is, this is the view of this a lifetime. Is, this is a great view and you know, this will be our rooftop deck. We're gonna have a barbecue, hot tub. It'll be plum for gas and water, electricity. Wow. Yeah, music and speakers up here. It's gonna be pretty it's incredible. Fantastic. I mean, I'm already sold, but tell me all about the house. So the house is uh, situated on a 13,300 square foot lot. Uh, the total square footage habitable is gonna be about 4,950. Wow, it's incredible. It'll be um, six bedrooms, seven bath. Um, we're gonna have a wine room, media room, obviously a pool and a hot tub. Yes. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty special home for this neighborhood. Just it's incredible. fun to walk around it now that it's framed and it's actually taken shape, but you know, just remember it took six or seven yeah. months of designs and thinking about stuff and where are we gonna put the front door and are we gonna make the master that big? Should there be another bedroom on the second floor and all those kind of things that have to go in to getting to this point. Um, so we're really done with framing. They're going to finish some of the electrical, uh, rough plumbing, and then the drywall is going to go up and it's really going to look like a house then. Well, you got to show us. You're really a master of your craft, so oh, I hope you invite you. us back to see the finished product. Oh, yeah. You guys will right? be back for sure. Yeah, and we'll get Ruckel, JD, Tim Golba. We'll get Have the whole, whole crew party. together. Yeah. I love it. That'll be great. Well, thanks for having us. You're welcome. Thanks for being here.